You've probably heard stories about some of the best fighter aces of World War II who took down dozens of Nazis, but what you probably haven't heard of is a fighter pilot who took down all three Axis powers and even one of his own planes and was celebrated for doing so. In this special episode of Epic Battles, we look at Lieutenant Colonel Louis Kurds, the only pilot to shoot down German, Italian, Japanese, and American planes. At the age of 22, Lieutenant Colonel Kurds joined the Army Air Corps in 1942 to fly planes against the Nazis. Within a year, he was a crack lieutenant. Ten days into his first mission ever, in his P-38 Lightning, he scored three kills against Messerschmitt Bf-109s, the workhorse of the German Luftwaffe. Deciding that it wasn't quite enough, within a month's time he put two more kills on his scoreboard, officially making him a fighter ace. In August of the same year, he crossed paths with an Italian Machi C202 while flying a mission over Italy that put his scoreboard up to six kills. He was shot down though by Nazi pilots over Italy and captured by the Italians, resigning himself to spend the rest of the war in a POW camp, binding him to the ground. But that wouldn't be in proper form for the American lieutenant. In a stroke of good luck, Italy surrendered a few days into Kurds' internment. Being picked up from the POW camp, the Allies sent him back into action, but this time, away from the European theater. Arriving in the Philippines, he would no longer face Nazis. Instead, he would go wing to wing against the talented and dynamic Japanese fighter pilots. Quickly shooting down a Japanese recon plane, he had sealed his Axis power hat trick. But he and his plane alone, Bad Angel, were flying over Bataan when his wingman was shot down over the Pacific Ocean. Re-engaging in the action, he saw a curious sight. Seeing a friendly C-47 transport plane with its wheels down, headed for the Japanese island, he tried to make radio contact. He even tried to physically wave the transport ship off. With all attempts of communication failing, Cards did one of the most daring things a pilot would do in World War II. He made a split-second decision. Cards carefully and skillfully took out one engine and then the other without blowing the entire cargo plane to bits, bringing the C-47 down only yards away from his wingman. The next day, Kurds flew back to the site of his down wingman. Kurds had so skillfully shot down the plane that the pilot, crew, and its human cargo were completely intact. If that story isn't impressive enough, one of the passengers inside of the plane was a nurse with whom he had gone out on a date with the night before. A girl named Valerie. A girl whom he later married. Now that's an adventurous second date. Ultimately, Kurds was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for his bravery through the war. His P-51 named Bad Angel is in the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona. Want more stories from epic people, epic weapons, and epic wars? Subscribe and hit the bell button below to go to battle with us every week. And we'll see you next time.